Hi everyone, welcome to the Husband and Wise Club YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna be making jollof rice with my middle child. So, apparently, guys, middle child syndrome is actually a thing. Yes, and I'm saying middle child because he is a middle child. The one and that no one cares about. <laughs> People do care about him, but he loves to play the victim. So I thought I'll have a, some one to one time with him. Um, so, yeah, we're gonna make jollof rice today. So before we start cooking today, I'm gonna show you around the house and see what everybody else is getting up to. Here we have the lazy boy. Is it? Look at the time, and he just woke up, stuff. I was doing stuff and he room. had the nerve to be making I was doing cereal stuff in my room. I was doing at stuff in my room. two in the afternoon. I mean, seriously. I was doing stuff in my room. Oh. And that here. Hey, babe. Say hello. So water fight going on. Crazy legs, mom. Is your pool ready yet, Joe? So today I am going to make jollof rice with Isaiah. <laughs> this is actually a suggestion that Justin, Uncle Justin, hello, suggested that, oh, what about I do like a jollof rice thing and maybe get the kids involved as well. So here we are. Now, just before the half term, Isaiah actually made jollof rice at school. Uh, guys, so um, Isaiah has done food tech um, at school today <laughs> and they, they created jollof rice. Now, he just told me that he put the jollof rice that was in the pot into a container. Half and then cooked. Half cooked. And then the teacher told him to put it in the oven. He, put, <laughs> <laughs> he baked the jollof. He, he baked, he baked, he baked jollof. jollof. Do you want to see what it looks so like? So he's about to do the big reveal. The, I don't okay. even know what it looks like. Oh, I did. I'm good. All right, go on. It's not that bad. It's, it's I mean, it could look worse. It could be worse. Yeah, but is it is it cooked? I don't think it's cooked. It's look, like, you can even see the hard bits it. here. Do the taste it. No, you taste it. Why the hell would I taste I can it? Still see Did the, you I... taste it? Taste it. No. As I it's, like it's your cooking, it. isn't it? No one else is gonna it. eat in the house. Just, just have a little. There's a muffin that's wet. There's a muffin that's. Be honest. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that was a sticky one. And so I've got the book here, and I'm just gonna quickly run through what it actually says. Maybe as I'm, it's called baked jollof rice. Oh. And they had the cheat to put West African oh. in brackets. How like dare they? I have no idea where they got this recipe from. As I am, maybe you can let us know how you what they want you to do. So we had to soak the rice in hot water from the tap. Soak the rice in hot water <laughs> from the tap. Then we had to heat the oil in a large saucepan on low. Okay. Then chop the onion. Yeah. Crush the garlic. Saute the onion, pepper, garlic, spices, and dried chili. And then add the chopped tomato, tomato, tomato puree and stir. Then add the rice, salt and mix well. And then add the hot water stock cube to the rice. And then bake in the oven for 25 minutes. I mean, I do not want my poor baby growing up thinking this is how we make jollof rice. Yeah? No so today we are gonna make jollof rice together and I think it's actually quite good because normally as I especially he will be when I'm in the kitchen he always comes to me he's like oh mommy what are you making can I help you cook and all this and he really wants to help but it's just that most of the time I'm rushing just to make dinner and I just don't have the time to get him involved so it's actually been quite good that you know we're not in a rush and We've got all the time in the world basically to do things. I'm actually going to enjoy this moment and hopefully, as I once a week, you can. Once take... a week? Oh, yeah. <laughs> maybe, maybe once a year. Once a year? Yeah, that's my At shit. the moment, Tariq is cooking once a week. So Tariq cooks dinner on Thursdays. I'm grooming him to take one day a week as well. A year, so if a year. you do Thursday, you uh, Tariq does Thursday, you do Wednesdays. Yeah. And then hopefully then it'll be my turn. I can teach her what to make as well. And then she can do a day. And then hopefully the days of cooking will be slowly going down. Yay! And what days are you going to cook, babe? 
Please uh, get his shorts in, please get his shorts in. <laughs> oh my <Yeah>. god. <laughs> he's yeah. going in a paddling <laughs> pool. Well. Might get interrupted as we go along because he's a full house today. So, all right. So, as I have got the ingredients here. Yep. So, all our ingredients are ready. We've got tomato puree. We've got our tin tomatoes. We've got our onions. Do you know what this is? Garlic. Look, 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 look. Garlic. Look, look. Look, 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 look. Look at this. Somebody come look at this. Look at this. Garlic. Oh, no, 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 not that. I know what it is. Okay, so what is it? No, I'm just saving it because I know it is. Isaiah, what is this? Oh, my days. I know what it is. I know it is. Ginger, Isaiah, ginger. Oh, yeah, In Ghana, thing. where you're naughty. That's the same thing. That's <laughs> the same no thing. It's the same thing. In Ghana, where you're naughty, this goes in your bum. You didn't yeah? give them this punishment when they were young. No. That's it... why it's like that. <laughs> you know what this one is, though, yeah. right? Where is it? No, no, it's not. It? Okay, so what I is it? I know it is. It's red pepper. I, 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 don't, I don't know what it is. Garlic. Red onion. What? How does it even look like red and you're saying it's red onion? What is wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> Garlic. 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 Ginger. ginger. Right, onions, obviously, you know. We've got nutmeg. We've got seasoning. Seasoning. We've got some bay leaves and Maggie cubes. Yeah? What, so did, that's... He, what did he ask what that was? He said, is this Milo? <laughs> 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 if you're Ghanaian, you know the what the Ghana chocolate milo yeah, looks like. No, as I it's not milo. It's Maggie cubes. It's seasoning. Now everybody knows that when you're making jollof rice, your stew is everything. If you get enough flavors in your stew, you're gonna have the perfect jollof rice. Yeah. So the first thing that we're going to do is do our onions, <laughs> our ginger, and our garlic. And then we're going to blend it all together. You do the onions, I'll do the ginger, and I'll do the garlic. All right. Yeah? Doing the garlic is a little bit time consuming. So I've got some easy options for some of you. So sometimes I'll turn to use this. So this is a mixed ginger and garlic paste that you can get in most supermarkets. But I've also got these ones. Sometimes you can get this. I mainly get it from Asda, so I don't know if any of the other supermarkets do it. And um, this is garlic and ginger as well, and it comes in little cubes. So what I would normally do is that one my oil, once my oil is piping hot with my onions and everything, then I'll put a couple of these cubes in there as well. And then that will save me all the time doing ginger and garlic, ginger and garlic and blending. Alternatively, you can make your own of these as well. So obviously you can blend them and then free, put in a freezer so whenever you need it and you can get it out. So that's other alternatives for you. But obviously, I want to show him the right way. So I'm showing him from scratch how to make all of that. And then obviously when he's on his own and he can't, he's gone off now because he can't hack the onions. No, I need goggles. Goggles? <laughs> Are you kidding me? I can't believe he's going to wear goggles just to cut onions. <laughs> Look at this silly boy, Isaiah. Have you ever seen me wearing that when I'm cutting onions? No, these are clubs. Okay. At the moment in our blender, we've got the onions, we've got our garlic, which I'm doing right now. I mean, cutting the ginger doesn't need to be perfect because you literally just want to, because you're going to blend it anyway. So you just want to cut them small enough to just make it easy to blend. Now, I know I'm leaving the skin on the ginger on. Um, I used to scrape it all off. But then one of my aunties, Auntie Esther, actually said to me, no, not to take the skin off because all the nutrients and all the bits is actually good for you and the flavour is actually in the skin. So what I do is when I take it to the tap, I literally give it a very, very good clean and take as much of it off as possible, but without all of it off. So I think that's enough onions as I... So everything is in here. It's a bit of a mess, but that's what happens when you cook with... Um... This has nothing to do with me. As I, you're wearing goggles, no. this has got everything to do with you. <laughs> you're going to put a little bit of water in here just to make it easy to blend together. You don't want to put too much water in here. All right, Isaiah, over to you. Oh, nice. Whoa, you've actually done it. Yeah. Wow, go on, Zai. What do I turn it to? One would do. Mm. So look, you have to make sure it's lined up here, otherwise it's not going to come on. Oh, sure. Alright, well. uh, so this is ready. We have our pan here, and Isaiah, what we need to do... You have to flambe. Is... 
<laughs> what are you flambeing? Making jollof rice. So our pot is ready and we've just put some oil in here. And then once the oil is hot. You have to brown the onions. Yes. You know the vibes. It you know, is it, Therese? You know the vibes, you know the is vibes. Is that you going on? It's not all about you. And then as I here you go, you just stir that. How are you going on, Zai? It's hot. Oh, but I'm not doing this. Hmm. See, it's a good thing I was wearing goggles. I could have gone in my eye. So now that I can see that onions are nice and brown, so we can put the onion, ginger and garlic into our mix. So we load the heat to give it time to kind of simmer. We are now going to do our tin tomatoes. As I get the opener and then open them for us. Oh no, this is one thing I actually can't do. I can do everything I just can't do this one. You can do everything. You no, can I take can. the goggles off now, you're not doing onions anymore. <laughs> line it up, like, line it up. Put, like, I'm lining it up. That wasn't lined up. The thing is, if it was custard, he would have opened it no, by now <laughs> to have his upper pie in custard. No, it's not that easy. Of course it is. I've just done it. And then I'm pouring it in the, in the thing. All of it. No, not in there. You have to blend it. Don't make it splash, please. And I put the lid on. I think you know how to do it now, don't you? I can do it. I can do it. Can help you? No, no, mama. I've got it. Babe. Yeah, mama, I can't do it. <laughs> oh, the onions. I thought the onions is no, gone. No, but it still hurts. How does it hurt? We're not chopping onions anymore. <laughs> so everything's done. Uh, our garlic ginger mix is all done as well. Put the what's it called? The basmati rice in it. The who basmati. rice? Basmati. Basmati. Yeah. <laughs> That's my EG. But same thing. And then now we can put our seasoning. Nutmeg in there. All-purpose seasoning. If you're using the school's recipe, they will have to put it in the oven. Yeah. Put it in a baking tray. It was actually not that bad. It could have been worse. Well, unfortunately. Someone threw it away. Unfortunately. Someone yeah, threw it away. Before we got a chance to even we taste it. Even taste like, it. Like, like, listen, this family is so grateful. Oh, I was trying to save I them from blood, food poisoning. Blood, sweat, and tears. And tears. I thought it was just it away. Like, it was you didn't horrible. taste it. it was but horrible. even there, you you've been taking it. You put a charge of put back to cover. I, I, I would have. I would have. Thank you, Daddy. Dad did have some the day before. Dad, I don't know. I'm trying it. I can't let you get away with that. One, you bent it in the oven. Two, you soaked the rice in hot water. We know. We know. It was a good try, but you know, I'm trying to save this family, and they're just grateful. Just put in a couple more Maggi cubes. What does that do? That's where you see your stew with. And then leave the stew to cook for about we need to leave 15 to 20 minutes leave it to on a low heat to make sure that you get all the flavors coming through. You will notice that I didn't put any pepper in our um, base when we're making the stew. That's because these people cannot handle these people. Yes, oh. all of you cannot handle pepper at all. So I don't put any pepper in there at all. But obviously, if you can handle it, then you should put pepper in there. Joel moans, Maya moans. As I can sit there and his nose is no, sweating. That's not what Your nose is always sweating. Yeah, now we're going to wash our rice. As I have, you have to wash it. Why? You drain the water because there's quite a lot of starch in the is rice. Is good? Yeah. Can you see it's still looking very cloudy? Yes, yeah, cloudy. And then you drain the water. I don't have to drain it. Oh, I don't like how this feels. Oh no, gosh. but it's best. My son has never washed rice. No, but it's best sticking to my hands. Okay, so put your hand in the water and it'll, it'll go off. That's now just drain it. The water, can you see that the water is clear now? And now it's ready for our rice. That's the rice. I'm so that you have to use your hand. Yeah. Right. A bit closer. Yeah. And now all we have to do is just. Mix it. I don't put salt in when right. I'm making jollof rice because I find that there's quite a lot of salt in the seasoning that you use. Well done, Azad. That's actually looking quite good. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now that it's all they mixed all doubted up me. And None of them having some of my Nobody jollof. doubted they you. They all doubted me. Who doubted They're you? They're all hating. <laughs> this is all my jollof. Um, only you can have some. Okay, thanks. No, none of them are having some. So guys, just to make sure your stew tastes nice, you just swipe. Oh. Oh, that is excellent. So now we're going to add some water to our rice. Oh. Imagine the rice. Guys, the rice is ready. No, it's not. So we cover it. It should with... take to cook. It should take roughly around. We'll cover it with a bit of foil. 
foil, cling film. Mm -hmm. That's just to keep the steam in there and then cook the rice and then we're going to leave it on. But how long roughly? About, I would say about half an hour, 35 minutes. Mm. And then don't stir it too much, but if you feel it needs a little stir, then you can come back and give it a little stir mm. and then just mm. keep it covered again. Mm. Don't mm -mm mm. me. Mm -mm. <laughs> so, while we're waiting for it to cook, what do we do? We start preparing the chicken. Oh, I know all about seasoning chicken. Now that our jollof no. is cooking nicely, Azai is just going to help me make the chicken. Mm -hmm. So here we've got some chicken wings that I seasoned yesterday and put it in the fridge to marinate overnight. And what we're going to put in here is egg and milk mix. So as I crack the egg in here. What type of chicken are you making, guys? We're making Kentucky chicken. Oh my God, the boy knows how to crack an egg. Someone get my blue Peter, man. They all down it. Someone get my adventures. No, I don't want to see nowhere near my jollof. Do, do you crack an egg in adventures? <laughs> because you quit. You quit adventures. You quit pathfinders. Yeah, I did. You quit I did. karate. I did. You quit swimming. karate. I'll do it again. I'll do it again. You quit her. Uh? I'll do it again. Do you not know quit, Steve? They quit. quit. <laughs> I quit. I said, like, why do you actually quit, quit everything? I don't quit everything. The only thing you haven't quit, quit is it. football. Yeah, because football means a lot to me. Even though you're not great at it. I'm well, who's the best? Who's the best football player in the house? Mum, unbiased every opinion. Time, every time, unbiased who's opinion, mum. Mum, mum, unbiased who's opinion. It doesn't matter who scores who's a goal. The best footballer in the house. Don't say Joel. You're so I wasn't gonna say Joel. I was gonna say my husband, of course. Yeah. Best footballer in the house. What? Dad, 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 dad. Dad. He's still a footballer. Unbiased opinion. Who's the best footballer in the house? No, I'm asking you. Your dad is the best. Because daddy player. wouldn't lie. Daddy wouldn't lie. Me. Oh. Okay, so and then, so we've got our chicken, our milk and egg mix, and then we've got our flour, a bit of seasoning. Kentucky so this is our Kentucky mix. So Isaiah, what I need you to do is pour that into there. Pour that into Dumbass. here. Why would you do that? So then you pour all of it on. No! Put it in there. No. Put what so in look, there? Look, look, look. You get your chicken. Oh, yeah, I knew that. I knew that. No. But I'm that's just... not what you said. Yeah? Yeah. And then you put it in here and then you twist it around. Okay. So I'm going to leave you to do that for a minute, yeah? Oh, this food is really good. You're going to come back and there's a fire. I don't even know how, but there just will be a fire. You said I just twist it around, Mom? Yes. What are you going to Nothing. I just made a joke and she's taking it to her. I want to use a salad, man. <laughs> TV went the ugly way. Let the camera see her. Let the camera see her. Oh uh, man, don't worry, I'm on your team. What? So now we're just coming to check on our rice to see how it's getting on. Oh, look at that. Oh, that is Perfect. glorious. Go down the middle of the grates. I'm just gonna turn it around. And we'll put our phone back on. And then we leave it to cook. So we're gonna ask you some questions while you're we're gonna ask you, you some, some questions. Maps, I'm no, no, we'll ask you some general low questions. Yeah, what down. is the capital of Nigeria? Nairobi. <laughs> That's so bad. Do I know it is? It's Lagos, Lagos, Lagos. What's Nairobi, Kenya? Yes. Zile. How many sides does oh, I'm not an octagon shit. have? Eight. My children have been on my back and basically telling me that I've been a failure of a mum. Because it's my fault. That well, I didn't need to quite use those words, but you did you, use those but words. But you get the gist. <laughs> I've been failure as a mom because I've been taught them how to speak she, and I actually do feel bad about that. Yeah, yeah. But I've tried to explain to them it's not. Blame me on daddy. <laughs> it's not his fault. I feel like everybody in the house speaks English, so it's hard to speak she with you guys. So I feel really bad. So Isaiah, mm -hmm. what the word? What she words do you know? I know. Shen and Nimbi, look at your face. <laughs> That's a start. There's a lot. Okay, so tell Just us. ask me simple words and I'll see if I'll answer it. Okay, so how lot. do you say come? Come with simple, simple, simple. Yeah, come with simple. Why do you say come? Um, no, come. No, on. when you say That's it. That's easy, you... Azaya. No, come on, come, don't embarrass come, me. Come. I know it, I know it. Come on, Mike, come in and say it. Bruh. Oh, I knew that, I knew that. Like, I'm focusing on the chicken. How do you say I'm hungry? Mom, I said give me easy words and you say I'm hungry. Uh -huh, what's C your name? C call means go. Okay. And what's come? Bruh. Okay. What is... How are you? Mommy. It's the same. Mommy, 
the towel and the other chin. There. Alright, so I put one in there just to test the oil. Now our oil is piping hot and it's ready to go. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it keeps. Well done, Zai. So I'm just checking our rice Yeesh. to see how it's getting on. Mm. Oh, look oh, at that. That is golden. Oh, man, this might be one of your best. It just it smells really nice as well. As you've seen, we've done the plantain and fried the Kentucky. We have some more Kentucky fries over there. What's there? And then I think it's over. I thought you can yeah. taste it. So this is how you taste it. Just put a little bit in your hand. Just a little bit in your hand. Alright, so as I just made the jollof rice and I need to balance it out, make it a bit more healthy. So I'm going to make the salad. I've got um, some spring onions, some cucumbers, some lettuce, some peppers and some tomatoes. So I'm just going to wash them right now. So we're nearly finished now, I'm just going to mix it with a knife. Yeah, as I was here to help me. Say it with more enthusiasm. Zero credit. More enthusiasm. Zaya helped me. Zaya helped me. She couldn't do it without me. So he's just left a big mess here. Anyway, I'm nearly done. I'm going to tidy up as I go along so it gets clean off. I'm actually finished to be honest. And that's my salad. So now I'm going to get avocado to cut because my mum loves avocado. I don't like it. I used to like it, but I don't anymore. So mine's just cut the um, avocado into, and I'm just quickly going to show you how you get the middle bit out. You just poke your knife inside and then just squeeze it around, and then voila! Wow. It's out. I will sing and praise my God. So I just cut, cut, cut avocado. Alright, first of all, that knife is too big. Oh, that's actually quite good. The way you've just done it. Go on, man. So I mean, is... I am a bit of an expert. And now stop eating all the chicken and plantain. <laughs> Making what? The salad. I know, right? Who eats salad these days? Avocado. No one likes avocado. I can't believe you have avocado. I like avocado. I can't believe you like avocado, man. I know, right? Avocado. You don't know where you're missing. Mm. Nothing really. Mm. Um, um, and that's the avocado. I've got my colourful salad. Although it could use a bit more colour. Anyway, finish. Time to tidy up. So this is the final check of our rice. Ah, oh, damn. Wonderful, wonderful. Well, this hi. is our jollof rice. Well done, Isaiah. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I just wanna thank all the people that doubted me, all the haters. If I told you to make this on your own, would you be able to make it? Hundred percent, one hundred percent. Yeah. Just because I couldn't tell the difference between ginger and garlic doesn't mean I couldn't make jollof rice. So I've been struggling on my own two feet to be making the food for everyone.
So I'm going to start dishing it out now. Make it a bit fancy. Perfect. Look at that. Get a salad. Do you want to eat it out? Yeah, go on, sweet. That's your shift. Well done, mate. Had a little bit of plenty. Get the Kentucky. It's, it's, it's an it. art. Dishing out food is an art. What was that? Dishing out food is an art. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Oh. You want to do hey presto? Yeah. Okay, for the next one you can. Next one, next one. So Danny, next one, come do hey presto. Your salad, man. You're the only one in this family that likes salad like that. So Danny, please excuse me. that's not it. <laughs> I think mine's violating, man. Oh. Oh. oh, that is splendid. Mm. Taste the salad. Mm. <laughs> Has my salad? Want me to eat the salad? Yeah, I want you to eat the salad. Go on. Eat the salad. Oh. Eat, eat the salad. salad. Oh. We trying. We trying to. Mine was the one with the Christmas. I'm just kidding, Mama. Maya, how's it feel? What's I gonna say? Okay. Okay, just okay. Yeah. This is Isaiah's um, first attempt of jollof rice. Eat the head. Oh no, I was Yeah, I'm giving it a seven. Seven? Yeah. See, Mum, they're all hating. I'm giving yeah. it a six. It could, it could be a bit more. Flavorful. A bit more pepper. Um, Compared to your school one, <laughs> uh, it's, hmm? a, it's an 11. <laughs> yeah, not bad. Not bad. <laughs> Joelle, how do you think Isaiah's jollof rice went? 100%. Oh, do you like it? Yeah. What does it taste like? Jollof rice. Jollof rice. Excellent. So do we want Isaiah to cook jollof rice again next time? Yeah. Yeah. Took too long. Really? yeah. Took too long. That's because we had to record it. Well done, Zai. Thank you, Mom. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So while they're having a nice jollof rice, I'm gonna be having the bottom of the rice, the crusty, crunchy bits, because this is the part that I love the most about jollof rice. I mean, I don't think it's very healthy because that's obviously that's where all the oil sleeps <laughs> you cook it with rice but i also think that's where all the flavor is and when i make jollof rice i don't actually eat the rice this is what i go for and apparently they sell them in shops now i just love it all right guys so just a quick recap your oil goes in your pan first and once that's hot you add your onions and once your onions are brown add your ginger garlic and onion blend or ginger garlic and onion smoothie as Azai likes to call it. Now stir for a little while and until brown. Now you add your tomato puree and let that fry for a little while. Now time to add your tin tomatoes and once your tin tomatoes are in this is a time to add your pepper if you're going to have pepper and all your other seasoning. Let that cook for about 15-20 minutes or even half an hour until the stew is nice and cooked because don't forget the stew is your flavour to your jollof. Once that's done, now you can add your rice. Stir it. You may want to add a little bit of water, but not too much water because you don't want your rice to be too sticky. And you cover it with a foil or cling film. Let that cook. You may turn it over a few times to so just kind of give it a stir, but not too much stirring. Now, the rice I'll normally use is basmati rice, but of course you can use jasmine rice. But for the full Ghana jollof rice, never use long grain rice. So I hope you've enjoyed our video. Make sure you leave a comment below for us. Maybe you do your jollof in a different way. Let me know. Maybe I can try it your way. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And I hope to see you soon. Take care guys. Bye.